Okay, so we're given xy squared minus 2x cubed equals 2 for y being greater than or equal to 0. For part a, we want to show that the derivative is equal to that. So in order to find the derivative, we have to apply the, uh, the product rule for xy squared. So the derivative of x is 1 multiplied by y squared plus the derivative of y squared is 2y, but because we're taking the derivative with respect to x, we need to have dy over dx. And we need to also then multiply by x, right? So it's the derivative of y squared times x minus the derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared, and the derivative of 2 is 0. So I'm going to move everything to the right except the 2y dy over dx times x. So 2y times x will be 2xy times dy over dx equals 6x squared minus y squared. I'm going to divide both sides by 2xy and get that the derivative is 6x squared minus y squared all over 2xy. Now for part b, we want to write an equation on the tangent line to the curve at the point 1 comma 2. So for the tangent line, you need two things. You need a point and a slope. The point that we're given is 1 comma 2. The slope is the derivative at the x value. So in this case, x equals 1. In part A, we solve for the derivative. So let's plug it in. x is 1 and also y equals 2 because the derivative depends on both x and y. Okay, so if I plug in x equals 1, y equals 2, I get 6 times 1 squared minus 2 squared over 2 times 1 times 2. So that will be 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Okay, so this is going to be my slope. And now I can find the equation of the tangent line. So we have y minus y1 which is the slope multiplied by x minus 1. And if you want to simplify, you get y equals 1 half x plus 3 halves. Now last one, part C. Find the x-coordinate of the point P at which the tangent line tangent to the curve at P is horizontal. Okay, so this involves setting the derivative equal to zero. Okay, so whenever you get a horizontal line, that means the derivative is zero. So something like this, let's say here the tangent line is horizontal, therefore the derivative is zero. Okay, so set derivative equal to zero. The derivative we set is 6x squared minus y squared, 2xy. Multiply both sides by 2xy. I get 6x squared minus y squared is zero. And here we want to find the x-coordinate. So let's solve for x, or rather we can solve for y. We have 6x squared equals y squared. And we actually want to find the, the value of x. So let's copy what we had above. We had xy squared minus 2x cubed equals 0. I'm sorry, that was a derivative. We need to find the original function. Was it x? It was, yeah, xy squared minus 2x cubed equals 2. Okay, this is the original function. And we want to um, solve what x is. So I see a y squared here. I see another y squared. Let's make the substitution. Plug in 6x squared for y and simplify. So x times 6x squared is 6x cubed minus 2x cubed is 2. That'll give us 4x cubed is 2. x cubed is one half. So take the cube root of both sides, we get x is equal to the cube root of one half. And this is our final answer.